Hi, today I want to share with you the concept of the power of one. How can you use this powerful concept within your business and the, this concept can transform your business significantly if you use it correctly? So what, are, what do I mean by the power of one? It simply means making a small change, a one change that you can do in your business. So can you increase your prices by 1%? Or can you negotiate with your suppliers to reduce um, the cost of the products they supply to you by 1%? Can you simplify the, the time that it takes you to produce a product and reduce that by one day? Or can you eliminate one item that you are using within your business that is no longer relevant or might be unnecessary? So there's a number of things that you can do just applying this concept of one right? Very powerful, the power of one. So let me run through in some more detail how this concept may work. So let's look at a price increase of 1%. So you're currently selling a product. You might be selling your product for $95 as an example. So you go in and you apply the 1% rule on that. that. That takes that up to close to, you know, $96. $96. So that extra 1% one dollar is is added to your bottom line your profit now couple that up with let's say one percent increase in volume how can you just sell one percent more so if you're selling one a uh, hundred items how can you sell a hundred and one items right so and if you've got a one percent profit that you're making now the extra one percent that you've added so you're now selling ninety six dollars instead of ninety five dollars and instead of selling a hundred dollars um, a hundred products right you're selling a uh, hundred and one products so there it's compounding one percent increase on the vo uh, the cost one uh, that you're selling or the price that you charge and then one percent on the volume that you charge and then you're buying it for one percent cheaper as well so before you know it now that one percent is compounding and your bottom line is benefiting from that you know changes Another concept that I mentioned is how can you maybe reduce your production time or the time that it takes you to deliver a product by just one day or let's assume maybe it's one hour depending on the product or service that you that you often do right so let's let's work on one day it's simple and easy to calculate one day reduction in production eliminates and reduces one days of production costs now what is that equal to in your business reducing that by one day then you get that product earlier to the customer so instead of let's say you have a 14 day production run and, and the delivery of your products takes 14 days but now it's um you know you, you're producing it in 13 days you're able to get that product to the customer one day earlier it's costing you uh, less so one day's less of, of production cost and now it's it's out to the customer sooner that's a more satisfied customer that customer pays you earlier so now your accounts receivable reduces as well so you know and we've we haven't even taken into account reduction in uh, accounts receivable strategies of you know uh, going out and, and engaging in, and ensuring that you can uh, reduce uh, the, the account receivable so as you can see uh, let's just assume that it's a manufacturing business that we're talking about the increase in your cost a dec uh, in your in your selling price a decrease in your cost price an increase in your volume, right? A decrease in your production days, right? Now you reduce your accounts receivable days. It just starts blowing up. And it's, we're just talking about 1% or one day in, in, in doing these things, right? We go back to systems, right? What systems are you using in your business that you don't need? I'm sure there's one system that you could certainly eliminate. Uh, a classic example as well is, let's say you're using uh, Google Drive to store documents and you're also using Dropbox to store documents well get rid of one of them they both do the same thing you don't need both of them so get rid of one of them it eliminates the unnecessary um, hassles of did I store it on the Google Drive or did I store it in Dropbox um, and and you know where, where are these files all kept and, and stored so as you can see there the power of one is significant when you start to implement it in your business right every day you know maybe make one change just one change that you can make in your in your business 
focus on that and try and implement that for 30 days. If you get through the 30 days, try and do and implement that one change for 90 days. If you succeed in 90 days, then make that 12 months. And then after 12 months, can you carry that forward? Right? So that's making one change. Same thing. Can you eliminate one unnecessary thing as I, as I mentioned as well? What can you do without? Just one thing is what we're looking for. So this is the power of one. It has a compounding effect and also it has such a huge effect on unnecessary elimination, wastage uh, at the same time. So think about what you can do within your business easily. Like I said, you surely you, you can quick and easily increase your pricing by 1%. You can um, definitely ask your suppliers to maybe reduce it by 1% and you can increase your volume by 1% as well. So, you know, three quick wins, but your bottom line will, will show a different result at the end of the day.